Hey everybody, how's it going? So I was having a spirited discussion with two other staff members here who are open to going to other parts of the country, not really sure exactly where, but they're open to traveling to other parts. And one of them was talking about, you know, how drivers in Miami are crazy because I was bringing up, you know, South Florida at one point in time before I realized that it's pretty much as expensive as New York City in many ways. And one of the things with Miami that we brought up is that the people kind of drive similarly to what they drive in New York City. And there was this one news article recently where this guy was you know, he was emptying a clip out of his gun into an, out through his windshield at another driver because the guy pissed him off. And then my employee is, you know, debating whether or not they are worse than New York City Uber drivers. So he plays me this clip and I just wanted to share it with you all because it kind of brings up the experience of New York City driving. So here, my employee is just driving down the road, driving like a normal person. And as you can see, on his right, there is what looks like a blue Honda or a Hyundai coming by. And that is kind of speeding past the flow of traffic. Now, to really properly understand what's going on here, the two left lanes are going to allow you to make a left on Canal Street, which will allow you to go over the Manhattan Bridge to Brooklyn. The two lanes on the right are for you to go through the tunnel to go to New Jersey. Now, a lot of the times, if you're not paying attention, you may get stuck in the right two lanes when you actually want to be in the left. It happens to people... And it happened to me when I was a new driver and I didn't really know the area well. You typically have two choices at that point. Behind door number one, you could take the L, realize you were in the wrong lane, you know, and realize you're just going to have to spend five or ten minutes going back around like a normal person. Or B, you can do some insanely dangerous maneuver to try to get back over into the left lane because, God damn it, I was, I am entitled by God to be in that lane. And you can guess what most Uber drivers in New York City wind up doing. So as you can see, he is speeding up as much as he can, and he is about to pass my employee. And as he passes him, he then kind of tries to stop short and, like, you know, fake him out and make it like, look, I'm, I'm going to try to enter your lane to scare him into stopping. This happens to me quite a bit. And I sadly wind up falling for it. It's why I can't stand riding my bike around Ubers or taxis. And it almost worked, but it didn't work on my employee. He just, you know, again, kept going because the guy, again, he, it was kind of dangerous for him to just smash on his brakes over there. My employee's not going to respond in kind. So the Uber driver smashes on his brakes, which is, of course, a totally safe thing to do in New York City traffic. And you can see the Uber driver speeds up to be right next to where my employee is. Now, he opens his window at this point because the window was closed before. And he starts screaming, I hope you die. Fuck you. Fuck you. I hope you crash, you piece of shit, blah, 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 blah. And then he winds up doing everything he can to be as close to his car. Oh, and this is this is the best part. I don't know if you saw that over there. So look at this. Is It's kind of like when somebody puffs out their chest at you and moves their arms like they're going to fight you. Like, you know that twitching motion someone makes where they bring their arms back, they puff their chest forward, and they puff their head forward towards you like, what? What? And he kind of did the car version of that over here as he was cursing at him, like, I'm going to fight you, I'm going to fuck you up, blah, 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 blah. Again, very dangerous and stupid, immature thing to do. Now, my employee is thinking, okay, let me try to get away from this guy. He's a lunatic. So he keeps on driving, keeps on driving. Normal thing to do. And the Uber driver decides that, no, 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 fuck that, fuck that. I'm going to catch up to him so I can be right next to him so I can keep cursing him out for not letting me into the lane. My employee decides, okay, I'm tired of being next to this guy. He seems kind of crazy. Admittedly, I don't think this is the best thing to do. He decides instead of going into the middle lane to go into the left lane so that he could be in front of the Uber driver rather than next to him because he doesn't want to be next to somebody that's screaming profanities. Maybe he's going to throw something at my car, do something. I'd rather just he be behind me. So, again, I don't think this is particularly the safest thing to do, and it's probably just going to piss the guy off more, but he did it. So, he, and again, he made his left from the middle lane into the left lane, and now the right thing for the Uber driver to do at this point, since he's behind him, is to just stay behind him, calm the fuck down, and go on with his day. No, that's not what he does. Now, to be clear, this here is a two-way road. What does this guy do? Is he going to stay behind my employee? No way in hell. He's going to go over the double yellow lines completely so that he's in the other effing lane just so that he could keep screaming at my employee with his window open right next to his car. So right now, that guy is fully in the other lane where oncoming traffic could easily destroy his car. He doesn't give a shit. Now, as you can see, this is the part where the, my favorite part of this video. The first car to come the other way is a cop car. Now, a, when a cop car sees that there's a lunatic with his windows down, TLC plates screaming at the top of his lungs, directly in the way of oncoming traffic. Do you think he's going to put a siren on? Do you think he's going to give him a warning, a ticket, anything? No, he's going to see that it's TLC plates, uh, just another Uber or taxi driver losing his mind at somebody, and, uh, you know, go on with his day. I imagine in most normal parts of the United States, the cops would actually stop somebody that's behaving in that manner. But here, that's just, again, that, that, that's just a Monday. Now, 
the part that is the saddest over here, is, or or the funniest, depending on your on your perspective, is I'm gonna try and make this a little bit more viewable in DaVinci. I'm gonna kind of blow out the contrast on it a little bit. Is uh, by his his rear view mirror, you could see that there's something hanging from the rear view mirror, and he's punching it. So he keeps hitting it over and over again. I don't know if it, it caught that, but he keeps punching this thing that's under his rear view mirror because he's raging so much, uh, mostly of his own doing, that somebody just, you know, just didn't allow him to immediately cut them off and run them off the road just so that he could get hit into his lane in time. And he's just punching and punching and punching at it. And one thing that I can say is this is, uh, this is sadly kind of a normal thing inside of New York City. And for the three weeks that I spent in New Hampshire, I have n actually the three weeks that I spent there on vacation, checking places out, and the three weeks that I was in the apartment there, I did not have this happen to me once. I did not have a single person honk at me in the entire time that I have been in the state of New Hampshire, which is very refreshing. It's just like those really small things that just allow you to... <sighs> But I figured I would share this because when I am riding my bike, people kind of wonder when, when I do those bike videos around the city, why do you yell, oh God, that's an Uber driver, I'm out of here. Or why do I try to avoid Uber drivers? Why do I avoid TLC plates and taxis? And usually it's stuff like this. There's a financial incentive to drive like a lunatic because the more the, the, the more uh, t you know passengers you get and the more seconds you save, the more money you make. So there is that kind of financial incentive that may draw people to want to save every last second. And if they don't save every last second or they lose two or four minutes here, to become considerably more angry than somebody who's just driving around the, for their normal commute where their commute is not the way they make their money. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. How, what is it like driving in your part of the country? Is it fun? Is it happy? Is it relaxing? Or is it something like like this where you literally wind up getting caught on camera punching air. I'll see you in the next video.